May total sales for escorts, domestic sales were up about 19.5% at 8,087 units. Exports were up about two, two, two times. Remember, that's a low base. And the total tractor sales, therefore, about a 20.9% mark higher. But compared to what escorts anyways does, this is uh, par for the course, probably. So what happens uh, from here? Um, and you know, with the pharma protests and all that's happening in the rural economy, can these numbers continue? Let's pose these questions to the company's chief financial officer, Bharat Madan. He joins us right now on the show. Good having you, Mr. Madan. Thanks so much for joining in. Uh, satisfactory month of May. The last time that we spoke, you mentioned that the double-digit growth will continue, but the base being higher, uh, people should not expect what you've done in the past to continue. Somehow, that is continuing. Yeah, I think our guidance was that first quarter definitely will give better growth numbers. So I think our expectation of industry will grow somewhere between 15 to 18 percent in Q1, and probably this time again, looking at the numbers, looks like it'll be about 20 percent around uh, for the industry numbers. So, but yes, overall for the full year, we still maintain the guidance of somewhere around double digits, so 9 to 11 percent sort of growth possibility. It looks like uh, more realistic number for the industry now. So is this, uh, is this a natural course, Mr. Madan, or do you believe the other factors? I mean, there are a few states where there have been reports of pharma products since produce prices have been low, and all of these factors which will impact tractor sales. Yes, when you look at the May data also, I think those particular states which are under stress, especially in states like Rajasthan, MP, Maharashtra, and Karnataka. So these four states haven't done well, so I think in terms of volume, they are obviously slightly degrown. But given the good indication for the monsoon, especially in the western belt and the central belt for MP large and that should actually pick up. So I think in the south will be still within some sort of concern looking at the guidance though actually how the monsoon will pass out. We'll have to wait for the distribution pattern to emerge clearer. But overall still I think in the other region we see very strong good growth happening. So we expect I think this trend will continue. So we'll have really uh, good numbers coming from the industry this year too. Uh, Mr. Madan, you would have seen various such cycles were in due to one reason or the other. There are some protests which last for a week, two weeks, three weeks, or maybe a month. Uh, uh, typically, do sales bounce back immediately in the next month onwards, or does it take some time? I know every situation is chalk and cheese, but just trying to generalize it anyways. But I think the agriculture cycle is what it is. So I think if the sowing season starts, obviously there's a limited window for the farmers to really start investing in factors they really want to use it for their cultivation purposes. So I think that winter definitely is a peak season month. So May June normally is seen a buying season which is there. So that will remain. So irrespective of whatever stress is on the, on the uh, farm side, I think obviously those issues are something which probably at the micro level the government needs to address. But otherwise, I think in the general we don't see there will be major impacts happening on the demand side. Really. If my memory serves me right, Mr. Madan, uh, the last time that we spoke, you mentioned about some price hikes that you undertook, token ones uh, at the end of March, beginning of April, if I'm not wrong. What's the price situation like? Are you looking at any further price hikes? So we still got some lag which we need to pass on. So obviously we have taken a price increase in April. So, but still I think this inflation is continuing in this quarter. So normally we pass on the price increases to the market with a lag of about a quarter. So obviously this quarter's impact is still to be positive. So we still are carrying a lag of about 1% uh, which needs to be positive to the market. You would reckon you will do that in the month of July or August or would it happen in this quarter itself? No, not in this quarter. I think it will be mostly in the uh, next quarter, Q2 only. Okay. Albeit on a small base, um, exports have shown a reasonably good bump up. Do you expect the momentum to continue? Yeah, the export we're expecting this year, we should see about 50% growth. So I think that's the guidance which we're given to most of the uh, analysts and investors. So I think that's the momentum I think we probably should continue going forward to. Okay. Mr. Madan, great having you. Thank you so much for taking the time out and speaking with us today on Bloomberg Quint.